what's poppin' playboys welcome back to another video as you guys can see today is actually a nice like really nice day today i even got my arms out like i don't usually ever have my arms out in south florida bro but today is kind of nice so guns out today okay so in today's video man we're going to be getting dusty prep for the track i haven't done an oil change in this car since the last track event but i also haven't put that many miles on this car uh i think i'm under like 2,000 miles on this on this oil change I mean on this oil so it doesn't need to be changed but you know it's just safer to do that since you're going to track you're gonna be being on the car and yada 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 also I'm gonna be replacing my tranny fluid because I think I I think I did that like two oil changes ago and I usually always change it like every two or three so I'm just gonna do that just you know be safe because uh, I do beat on this car sometimes and uh you know I don't want nothing to happen at the track because that would really suck and I gotta gut out my trunk because my trunk is full of stuff. And I got the spare tire in there, so any little weight I could save, I'll do it. I was thinking about taking out the back seats, but then that would be too much of a hassle. I think I'll do that for another video, or I don't know. I don't think I'm ever gonna do that, to be honest with you. Unless, like, I'm really dedicated to drag racing and track cars and all that stuff. But, yeah, man, I'm just gonna take out the stuff in the trunk, the spare tire, the toolbox, because this toolbox, boy, this toolbox right here, Thing heavy as hell. go trunk is empty hopefully this actually like you know helps or something i should like weigh all that stuff that was in it but i don't have a scale for that but hopefully you know this saves me like 70 pounds or i don't know 80 pounds all right guys so i forgot to give you guys an update on what i was doing i just literally started doing it my girlfriend came and we chilled a little bit and uh i just started working on the car but yeah car's in the air just took off the oil filter um, now I'm gonna, you know, change the oil, yada, 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 uh, do the transmission oil, and also I'm gonna take off this fog light right here, because I do have like this little, uh, duck, I guess you could say, that's gonna go inside here and go up to the intake so I can get some air, so, you know, I won't be heat soaked at the track. Hopefully that helps. If that doesn't help, I do have a V-stack that I'll probably throw on if the temps are still too little high. And uh, if the, you know, if I start running lean, I'll probably just take out the v side, put the intake back on. But, uh, yeah, man. Looking good so far. And it feels nice today, bro. I don't know how many I'm going to say that, but, yo, it feels so good outside. <laughs> See if I can get this out without making myself a mess. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> your boy smooth with it, dog. Let's go. Nothing got on me, and there's nothing on the floor. Let's let's go. Let's go. Shut your bitch ass up. All right, so transmission fluids in, engine oils in. This is the last bottle. If you guys wanted to know, it only takes two quarts. So don't go buying three and trying to fill it up with the wheel leak out. And you're gonna be very upset. So uh, yeah, man. Now I gotta figure out this intake. Most likely the pipe's gonna run through here, but I just gotta take off this. So yeah, let's get it. All right, so let's see what I could do. I'm pretty sure I got to pop this off. And this is already like loose. So, what's it holding goodbye right there? And that's it. 
think. Oh yeah, it's just that. All right, bet. All right, so I'm gonna get this in real quick. Um, I don't really know how to show you guys, but I'll definitely like sum it up for you guys. So if you guys want to copy me, you guys be able to. Uh, and I'll put the link in the description for this pipe right here. And uh, yeah, man, let's finish this up. All right, guys, so I pretty much got the intake the way I want. It didn't come out to exactly how I wanted it because I wanted this to sit inside like this. But like, it wouldn't stay, so couldn't let it sit like that. I think it would have looked pretty damn cool like that. But having the red inside kind of looks, kind of looks crazy because like, it matches inside the engine bay. It looks fire. So plus it matches the badges and all that stuff. So yeah, man. I'm gonna run this at the track. It was really simple to take out. I mean, it was really simple to put in. Literally, um, all I did was take out the fog light housing. And then uh, I had a extra coupler and I just put it on the back of that of that uh, piece that you guys seen that piping and I tightened it to the back of the housing. Well, to the back of this housing, not the actual fog light, not, not that. So when I did that, all I did was tighten it. I routed it up and you guys can see it's like right underneath the intake. So all that air should be flowing right into it. I could always adjust it to make it longer. So, I think like this is perfect. Like that is so perfect. So hopefully that'll help me with the heat soak. So, yeah, we're gonna see what it does when I start driving. But, this is where I'm at off the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Whoa, I am like really light right now. There we go. So yeah, this is where I'm at off the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, stay tuned for the track video that should be coming out literally like probably after you guys seen this video probably a day later or two days later I don't know yet. We'll see and uh, Yeah, man dusty look really good, bro Like really good with this whole new setup. I Don't know how long I'm gonna keep running this like this I probably keep running it for probably a few few weeks just to see the differences and I'll probably put the fog light back in Or I'm not gonna lie, bro. I kind of like this look. It looked crazy. Like, it just pops out like, whoa, somebody got something in there. Like, I don't know, bro. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm tired. I need to go shower, eat something, get ready, and uh, head out to the track. But yeah, that's why I'm out of the video for the third time. Again, I said that already. Your boy's out. Please like. Wait, 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 wait. Please like, comment, subscribe. Your boy's out. Peace. Day two. All right, guys. So it's been some days, and uh, I didn't get to race Dusty at the track because the track was closed because it started raining over there. So sadly, I didn't get to touch off the new intake, and that, that's really that's really disappointing. But I can show you guys it again in case you guys didn't really get a good look at it. That's it. It's pretty good. I did test it out on a little drive, and it did help. My uh, I IATs were constantly in the 80s when they're usually in the 90s. So definitely did help only time it doesn't help is when you know you're just uh, setting at the red light or you're just idling somewhere of course it's not gonna help because there's no air flowing through but after that when you as soon as you start moving and the air starts flowing IAT starts to drop so I don't know man hopefully I get to test this out of the track when I even test it out hopefully I get to see the differences when I go to the track and uh yeah man I can't really say much but I'm just sad that I couldn't get to go race the car because that's that was the whole purpose of this whole you know little setup and it just sucks bro. The next event is December 5th, but I don't think I'm gonna go to that one. Um probably just keep cleaning up the car and do some more things to the car. Don't feel like racing no more. But uh if somebody wants to race, we can race. Have no problem doing that. But yeah man, hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh bro, I'm just so sad. I really wanted to race the car, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, follow and follow me on Instagram at underscore got the soda. And your boys out. Peace.